I lost my wife to breast cancer about six years ago, and uh, obviously that's a difficult thing to lose lose your partner. But it's also in order to heal, you have to find something to kind of carry to keep the memory alive. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Madison Noteworthy. My name is Christy Andringa and I am president of Candringa Productions. And I'm here today in St. Mary's Hospital um, with Trevor Murray. And we are here to talk about the Diane Fredrickson Murray Endowment. Um, Trevor, thank you so much for letting us be a part of this. Um, tell me about Diane. Diane, I was lucky enough to meet at the Taste of Madison in 2006. And bam, instantly it was just like, hitting it off, getting in a relationship, Mach 1, and enjoyed every moment that we had together. She was diagnosed about a month after we started dating. So you truly have been with her every step every of the way. Every step of the way, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just important for, for us to focus on the next day and on keeping up with friends and family and being positive. Was positivity part of her nature? Oh my gosh, she was a very larger than life, energetic, happy, caring person. Well, she is still blessing us through this, so yes. this is her way of, of she, sharing the caring message, right. too. And, and She'd be can, so proud, right. Would you be so kind to share with our audience how this, how this endowment came about? With this endowment fund, the idea coming to, to help oncology patients to make their day a little bit better, a little bit easier while they're going through cancer treatment. Um, while we were going through treatment, uh, a, lot of, a lot of people wanted to help, and they didn't know like what do you do and, and everyone at some point has someone going through cancer treatment but everyone wants to help and no one really knows what to do and Diane's friends did a lot of great big things for her and um, we were able to spend a lot of good quality time together but in the day to day the most important thing to Diane was comfort you know talking to her friends keeping up on you know how everyone else is doing it the items that are in these gift care bags are meant to provide a little bit of comfort to the patient. You bring up a great point and I think that you know there's a cliche if you will but not really that you know your last days of your life it's those months whatever they are it becomes about the simple things and you've kind of taken that idea and said the simple things that can bring you comfort. I'm so proud that with my friends and family and support of the community that we were able to raise enough money to become an endowment. So how can our viewers help you help patients? Um, donations can be made right from the St. Mary's Foundation web page. Um, okay, we yes. can do that, we can do that. And yeah. there's a Facebook page? There's a Facebook page. Kind of gives you a history of why we're doing this again. It has pictures of all the items that are in there. You are paying it forward and um, we need more people like you. Let's get behind Trevor and do everything we can to support this endowment. Thank you so much for joining us today. Listen, we need you to follow us. We want to stay connected with you. We want to hear from you. Follow us on social media. Find us on Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get more great Madison Noteworthy stories every single week. Mm -hmm.